Hello, my name is Iris Franz. We are Lian Wenru. Today we are going to talk about Slavsky equation. Now, the bottom line of Slavsky equation is this: total effect is equal to substitution effect plus income effect. So suppose we are in the world of two goods and we have one budget. Now, suppose the price of good one has gone down from P1 to P1 prime. Then two things are happening. The first one is the substitution effect. Meaning the relative price of good one has gone down. Mathematically, that means P1 prime over P2 is lower than P1 over P2 because the price of good one has gone down from P1 to P1 prime. That means good one has become relatively cheaper than good two, and therefore you should buy more good one to replace good two. We call that substitution effect. Now, income effect is this. When the price of good one goes down, even though your monetary income has not changed, but the purchasing power of your income has gone up. So the income effect tells you, if the good is a normal good, then you should buy more of that good. But if the good is an inferior good, then you should buy less of that. So it really depends on whether good one is a normal good or an inferior good. So how can we decompose our total effect into substitution effect and income effect? We can see the black budget line was our original budget line with our original price P1, and the red line is the final budget line with our the same budget M and the new price P1 prime. And our bundle X was our original bundle, so we buy、um, X1 unit of good one and X2 unit of good two. And finally, after the price change, we will buy bundle Z, and Z is our、um, final bundle. So you can see the difference between Z and X will be our total effect, and we're going to decompose that into substitution effect from X to Y and the income effect from Y to Z. So as long as we can find bundle Y, we'll be able to find out what is the substitution effect and what is the income effect. So how can we find Y? Now this is how we calculate that. After the price goes down from P1 to P1 prime, we are going to take away some money from you, say delta m. That's a amount of money we're going to take away from you. So delta m is a negative number, and、um, in a way that bundle X is just affordable for you to buy. So we can see this is our original bundle. P1 X1 plus P2 X2 is equal to m. That's before our price change, and that's point X on this black budget line. And after the price change, we're going to take some money away from you. So remember, delta M is a negative number, so that the money is just enough for you to buy the original bundle even with the price change. So you can see P1 prime X1 plus P2 X2 is now equal to M plus delta M. So we take away some money from you. Now this point will be bundle X on the blue budget line. Notice that blue budget line is a little flatter than the black budget line, the original budget line. Why is that? Because the price of good one has gone down, and therefore your budget line is now flatter. And also notice that your blue budget line goes through your bundle X, meaning your bundle X is still affordable. We're buying. Your bundle X, so the bundle X is still affordable. Now, are you going to purchase the original bundle after、uh, we change your budget,、um, so that your budget is M plus delta M? Chances are you're not going to buy that bu、uh, bundle because the price of good one has gone down. So the substitution effect tells you, hey, you should buy more good one to replace good two. So, and you're right. You are not going to consume at bundle X. You're going to move to bundle Y. And you're going to consume bundle Y. So that is a bundle you're going to consume given the new price and the new budget. So we can see that on your equation three,、um, P1 prime Y1 plus P2 Y2 is equal to M plus delta M. That's after I take away your money. So you'll be asking, how much money are you going to take away from me?、Um, we're going to be able to calculate that、um, by subtracting equation one from equation two. So here, equation one, and equation two, the only difference is really p1 prime and p1. 
So P1 prime minus P1 times X1 is equal to delta M. So you can see the price of GU1 has gone down. So I can take away exactly delta M amount of money so that you can still afford to buy the original bundle. So think about going back to your childhood when uh, you consume, say, five candy bars per month and the price of candy bar is 10 cents. So your mom will make sure to give you 50 cents per month so you can buy five candy bars. But now, um, next time your mom notices that, hey, the price of candy bar has gone down from 10 cents to five cents. So I don't need to give you 50 cents. I only need to give you five cents times five candy bar, only 25 cents. That's enough for you to buy the original amount of candy bar. So I'm going to take away 25 cents from you. That's exactly this idea. Um, 5 cents minus 10 cents times 5 candy bars is equal to negative 25 cents. Your mom will say, hey, uh, give me back uh, 25 cents. You just need 5 candy bars and the price of candy bar has gone down. Kind of like that. So after you calculate this delta M, you are able to find your bundle Y. And notice that after you find your bundle Y, then Y1 minus X1 will be your substitution effect. So that will be here, your substitution effect. And finally, the income effect will be the difference between bundle Y and bundle Z. Notice that bundle Y is on the blue budget line, which is parallel to bundle Z on the red budget line. Why is that parallel? Well, because the price has changed. P1 has gone down from P1 to P1 prime, and therefore, these two budget lines are parallel to each other. And the only difference is this, in this red budget line, I'm restoring your income to the original level, M, whereas on this blue budget line, our income was M plus delta M, which is a negative number. And therefore, you can see from this blue budget line and this red budget line, the only difference is the income. Right? We are shifting out our income from a smaller income to a larger income. And therefore, the difference will be the income effect. And notice that for this good, good one, this good is actually normal good because the income effect is positive. When the price goes down, income effect is that now your purchasing power has gone up. And because this good is a normal good, so you end up buying more good one. So I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy learning Slotsky equation. I'll see you next time.